and welcome everybody here on Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube. For a best of one donation deck, we got Azorius Law. That's right, we're bringing back Rule of Law and we're trying it out over in best of one. If you don't know about this awesome enchantment, uh, this is uh, enchantment, two and a white. Each player can't cast more than one spell each turn. So you get one spell to cast during your turn. That's it. So if you're somebody who's not playing a lot of instants, and you're, you don't have the ability to play cards on the opponent's turn because you're not playing instants, well, then you only get your one spell to cast during your turn, if that's the opponent. Um, also, you know, like we have, we can pair that with Teferi, where Teferi says you can't play instants, so that's all they get is just their one spell. Um, if you have Rule of Law and Teferi in play, <laughs> they you can't do anything else but just play your one spell. Um, so for us, we want to play a lot of instants because we want to be able to play a, one spell on our turn and one spell on our opponent's turn. So we're being able to play two spells each, you know, one one on our turn, one on their turn, where our opponent is only able to play the one on their turn. And so then just over time, you, it doesn't really matter how many cards you have because, you know, the whole point of having a lot of cards is that you're able to cast a lot of stuff. But if you have a lot of cards, but you can only play one thing, you know, that that's still kind of tough. So we compare that with with counter magic also. You know, like we have like Sinister Sabotage, Dovin's Veto. So like if they get to play one spell and we're like, all right, well, Sinister Sabotage that spell. <laughs> That's it. They're done. And then it goes back to us. And then we can play something on our turn and they try to play one thing and then you counter it. And then they're done. And then it goes back to you. And it's it's a pretty nice little cycle there. Um, and, a, and it's a way to lock out the opponent from the game. That's kind of like what we're doing here. Um, so a card like Chemister's Insight, like where this is an instant speed card that we can use on their turn, like that's definitely a lot more valuable than other card draw effects. Um, and so, you know, we can you can kind of see we got a bunch of instants in here. We do have some sorceries, you know, like Callous Dismissal, if we want to play the Warrant part, or sorry, the Warden part of Warrant Warden. Ugin and Teferi are sorcery speed, but, you know, we can do those on our turn, pass, and still have other stuff available. You know, like they play their one thing, and we're like, all right, we'll bounce it, put it back into your hand with Brazen Borrower. And now it just you know, basically time walked them. We can also use extra mana with the castles, you know, like, so we can uh, counter their spell and then the rest of our, since we can only play like one spell on our turn, one spell on their turn, you know, we can use extra, you know, we need ways to use extra mana. And so we can activate like Castle Art and Veil uh, to make a 1-1 one, one, or activate Castle Vantress to scry. We got some Fable Passages down here too. Um, but there we go. So that's, that's what our deck's about. So we're going to be playing some ranked here with our best of one deck we'll be playing like seven games or so <clears throat> best of one is a very aggressive format we see a lot of aggro and that could be that could be something that we struggle with um you know we're we, we're gonna be relying on time wipe quite a bit but if we get to stabilize and play into a later game we should uh we should be doing really well Yeah, this is the deck for when you want to play Magic, you don't want your opponent to. Uh, this song is Hemorrhage by Fuel. Uh, hey, Rochin, I'm doing good. Hawkeye, um, you know, the vet, the vet is pretty confused on why Hawkeye is still having the, the problems that he is. But we got um, some, like, immune boost boosters and an immune booster and also antibiotics for him to be taking every day. Um and hopefully this this helps him out. But yeah, he still just has a, a bad runny nose and everything. And we thought with getting his teeth pulled that that was going to help the problem, but it hasn't. Yes, the new two white white sweeper would would yeah that would slot into this very well. Yes, it would. <clears throat> All right, got to slow him down. That's what I mean about best of one. Can be... Can be very aggressive. 
show remorse. I'm, oh, I've done the hero thing before. Hmm. Too many lands. Good hand, though. You know, two fervent champions <clears throat> really help the, each other out. So I think I need to hold up Sinister Sabotage to try to surveil one to try to look for time wipe because obviously it's next turn is time wipe or bust. Um, it's possible they don't play anything at all. Because they know it's time wipe or bust plus they only have two cards in hand. Darn. Yeah, yep, they had a good draw. Um, too many lands over here. But best of ones very quick, you know, just move on to the next one. Try again. Against those kind of aggro decks, we, we're just going to be time wipe or bust. That's how it is with blue-white control. Hey, it's all good, ZY. It's all good. GG's. Let's see... I think I'm going to just Fable Passage for Planes to start off with. We don't really need to draw another land. Alright, so we're on the play this time. That certainly helps out. Yeah, the, the four mana sweeper would definitely help this deck as far as like with Thero standard. Having another good sweeper. Possible we have one too many lands. All right, rule of loss. They can just play their one, you know, so they have all their cheap cards. They want to play a bunch of cheap stuff. They get to play one card. That's it. Well, that's a good one. Yeah, I like Warren. Yeah, Warren Warren is a pretty cool card. Can you like main deck devout decree? In best of one. I should not, you, basically right here, I can't cast, if I cast Chemister's Insight in response, then they get to see my two cards. So if we draw a Time Wipe, they get to just take the Time Wipe. So I get to just kind of protect my top two cards because they can just take, they can take Chemister's Insight if they want, but then I get to flash it back. Um, or, you know, they take the Dream Eater. Hmm. 
Well, this is really awkward drawing both of these tranquil coves right now because I want to play planes. I mean, I need to play planes, but I may not actually be able to cast Dream Eater next turn. I have to I have to do this because I have to activate Castle Arden Veil this turn. Come on, time wipe. By playing Wardent, I can stay alive next turn from just this, if that's a blank in hand, which it is. Give me one more turn to draw a time wipe. Yeah, you can only cast Warden during attack step. It's only target attacker or blocker. Alright, we did it. But we're at one. <laughs> we're so close to being dead. Nice. Callus Dismissal is pretty nice. If their one card kills us, I get to sabotage. If not, I can either insight or make a 1-1. One, one. That doesn't kill me. Double. They should be killing the other 1-1 one, one first, so I can't amass again. And it looks like we're starting to stabilize. Oh no. Alright, I think I just counter that. Maybe I should have incited during my turn. I probably should have just cast Chemistry's Insight during my turn. <clears throat> it's kind of annoying that I don't get to do anything else. I basically have to counter that because I could bounce it and have them play it again the next turn, but then I have to counter it anyway. At that point. As long as they don't draw like a Bone Crusher Giant. Yeah, the extra rule of law being chemistry fodder, that is pretty nice. I agree. Alright, would I rather... I kind of think I want to activate this Castle Vantress. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, Manu. Thank you so much. That's our fifth sub of the day. Thanks for that support. Um, yeah, I do. I do need a counter spell. I agree. I do need a counter spell. These cards are good, though. I'm gonna keep Ugin. Ugin just increases my clock by a whole lot. I, am ancient, I would have drawn Castle Ardenvale if I didn't keep Ugin. Castle Ardenvale wouldn't have done a lot for me. This just increases my clock by a lot. If it turns out... If we... Also, if we tick up and it's a counter spell, then I can... Um... Then I can also I could time wipe and put it back into my hand, like you know, if need be. I think we did it. Looks like we did it. Okay. Stabilized. Rank up. So I mentioned yesterday, I went through exactly same as you with those Selesnya cards. I played Selesnya IRL in two formats. I was really hoping the Walker, etc., would be good, but it's just not that great. Dang. Yeah. I wish the Walker was better, but. Yeah, that was that was good. The good old stabilize at one. Okay, well we're gonna keep this because we got time wipe. Um, I don't love having these two six drops, but you know, I guess it's better than having five lands. Hmm. Yeah, Elspeth could fit in this deck pretty well. Definitely the four mana Wrath would for sure, but yeah, I mean, even Elspeth, you could keep replaying Elspeth and stuff. Yeah, could have Absorb over Sabotage. That does definitely help out the, the aggro matchup. Yep, absolutely. Here we go. All right, well, unfortunately, our opponent has to ferry. That's a card that is difficult for us to deal with. No, I am not making this up as I go. Yeah, Selesnya is best guild. That's more like it. Here goes nothing. So right now we're in a spot where I want to draw land, so I won't crack the fatal passage. I minus to fairy because I wasn't really expecting them to play a good target for me to bounce, but I'm a. Uh, I'm regretting that just a little bit with them playing this Temple of Scryumph. It looks like they're, you know, like a Jeskai Fires deck. I guess I probably should have guessed that. Yeah, this is going to be really tough to win now. Like, basically because of their Teferi. 
That hurts. I would love to play like Rule of Law and then have Warrant Warden. I've got time. Um, is Euro better than Risen Reef? Um. This might be a bad idea. Maybe. Maybe. Risen Reef hasn't really had like the a ton of other good elementals around it before, but it does get more good elementals now. But yeah, I think I think there's a pretty decent shot that Euro is going to be better. All right, so do y'all think they have another Teferi in hand? I hope not. Do not defy the designs of an error. I sure hope not. That's the one card I don't want to see is Teferi. Looks like they're not playing a hasty thing. I guess, I mean, they still probably have their land drop. Man, they've scried everything to the bottom. Did they already draw for turn? Okay, they're there they are. I was like, where are they at in their turn? Okay, there we go. Now this thing's lit up, because that thing wasn't lit up. Well, obviously, I'm going to be time wiping this next turn. Make them shuffle all those cards back. Do they just put down to the bottom? But now I get to play instance, which is critical. I was kind of hoping that they were going to castle up at upkeep, because if they did that, if they castled at upkeep, then I could have bounced fires, and then they wouldn't have been able to play anything. That's what I was hoping was going to happen. All right, do I warrant or do I borrower? Let's go Warrant. Is Hawkeye getting better? Well, he's, he's got a bunch of medicine now um, that he's going to start taking like tonight that hopefully will help him get better. Um, 
but you know, the vet's not even exactly sure why he why he isn't better than he is. Definitely wanted a land drop there. And just get out of here, Kenrath. Get out of here. This rule of law is pretty sweet, though. They play their one card. It's gone. See ya. They should have killed the Ugin. Yeah, it's like they're sure they're drawing cards, but drawing cards gaining life, like what are they doing with that? Alright, there's that extra card. So is it good for me to bounce the fires? Like is that if I bounce the fires then they can then they can play cards during my turn. Are they do they really play instants? They probably don't play instants, do they? It's probably not a big deal if I bounce fires. Nope, 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 yes. There we go, rule of law, shutting him down. There we go, two and one. Rule of law is sweet. Just can't do anything. They they should have killed the Ugin. They did not. And Ugin just made a whole bunch of tutus. Uh, because they didn't they weren't doing that Tesla. I was going to do that before, but at that point they had enough mana anyway, but they they weren't scrying on upkeep the last few turns. At least the, the last two turns they didn't scry on upkeep. So that was pretty sweet. Rule of law. Rule of law is you get one card. That's it, one card. Ooh. Hopefully they don't have it. Come on, resolve. No, they had it. Yep. Paradise Druid. Hmm. 
Probably should have just played Dream Eater on my turn. I was the the reason not to play Dream Eater on my turn is worried about Nissa. Where's my land drops? Come on, draw land. This isn't a fight you can win. I've got it. No land, but we'll get this rule of law out here. Alright, there's land drop. Now we can... Uh, Surprise this Paradise Druid with a Dream Eater. Of course, we're not going to bounce the Paradise Druid. We're going to be blocking it. Alright, don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. We'll keep the Time Wipe just in case. Just in case they go crazy like a bunch of wolves or something. Yeah, a bunch of wolves. I usually do seven games there, Dan, for best of one. Trust me, I have a plan. Um, if the seven games don't take very long, then I'll go to nine if it's if it's like a fast aggro deck. Pick this back up. Thank you. This Teferi card's pretty good. I'll protect you. I'm just gonna cast this and try to hit a land drop. Yeah, we shut we're shutting down the Flash player. We shut down the Fires player. This rule of law to fairy combo. Really just to fairy combo. I don't know how much of a t combo it is when it's one card. Yeah, this this yeah, this is uh this is definitely a deck that can be played in best of three as well. Don't worry, I got this. Absolutely. Uh this song is White Rabbits is the band Percussion Gun is the name of the song. So Nissa is about the only card that that's gonna be scary. Like that's not scary. Cool. You played your one card. You don't get to play anything else. That's it. Alright, I'll play my one card. Hell yeah. 
head explode. And we're three and one. <laughs> Anon! Anon getting the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Anon. Yeah, we shut down the flash deck there. Advice for a new streamer, um, set a schedule and stay with it. You know, even if you don't really feel like streaming, you know, stay with your schedule so your viewers know what to expect. <laughs> Let me counter your spells, no. Okay, not allowed to counter spells. Okay, we're playing against red black. No, don't do paragon. No, just just untap. <laughs> yeah, I think you can make a pretty good prison deck in historic. I think that's a that's a good format to make a prison deck in. I think at at this point, I don't think I really have time to just throw down rule of law. Because if I if I play rule of law, they play something else that goes to the battlefield. Then I, then I'm just even farther behind. I need to protect the rest of the battlefield besides this Bone Crusher Giant, while I look for a removal for it. There we go. Hmm. I don't know. I don't love I don't love just like playing Warrant here, taking two, and then them playing some other big threat and then just having the Bone Crusher Giant on top. Yes, that's true. Yeah, historic rank play is going away for a little while. It'll come back. It's a it's a cyclical thing, you know. It goes through cycles. Um, whenever a brand new set, uh, hmm. Whenever a brand new set comes out, they take away Historic Ranked, and then, then you have Historic Events still. It's not like you can't play Historic. You can still play Historic. And then after a while, then they'll bring back Historic Ranked and take away the events, and so on. Ouch. Ouch. That was a really bad case scenario for me. Wow, that yeah, that was that was bad.
Yeah, like this. Yeah, this would be a matchup where having absorb would be would be nice. Yep. Oh my gosh, I didn't get a planes. I was kind of looking at my cards. I I guess I didn't really look. Oh man, I meant to get a planes because of Ardenvale. Bleh. Wish I would have got a planes. Life total is going down. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to be playing uh, seven matches. Hope they don't have another Carnival Carnage, but, you know, they haven't yet. I think that's what they're kind of looking for. I wanted to draw a land there and be able to hold up Sabotage. Maybe I should have discarded Sabotage instead of Veto? I'm just getting a card out of their hand for their castle. Okay. Let's slow this down. Yes, yeah, so I guess they probably just have a bunch of rituals in hand and I'll stuff like that. You. I mean, I don't think they're an aggro deck. Like, this doesn't really look like an aggro deck. They just had Bone Crusher Giant stomp me quite a bit. Like, that's not really... Like, that's a control card. Oh, come on. Yeah, like, I, I think they're a Rakdos control. <laughs> no, I don't have any instant life gain spells in the deck. Don't really have life gain spells in the deck. Yeah, we played we played against two non-red decks. We played against we played against three red black and two other decks. I mean, Jeskai, I guess, has red in it. Yeah, uh, yeah. even if I had an Absorb to gain three life, I'm not killing my opponent in the next four turns. So it doesn't, it doesn't help us completely. I just have to have Veto available for Teferi. Even though it's kind of awkward, I don't get to play my own Teferi next turn. We have to counter theirs. Come on, land. Uh, that's really awkward. Passage has been really good for us. This is the one time the Passage has let us down. Yeah, sure. Guy drew two, two Teferis. What are the odds? No, my responsibility. 
No, we draw two Teferis. That's crazy. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I am not going to see this. I've got it. Yeah, this looks like a true mirror. I got the same sleeves and everything. I've got time. Try this. The person that donated for the deck didn't didn't want to, like they didn't use wild cards on absorb and they tried sinister sabotage like they had sinister sabotage instead and there that was a question they had was they asked how like what I thought about that if they needed um absorb or not. Which deck are you most excited for? Rakdos Giant plus Hushbringer, Mono go. Green Enchantment, Selesnya Enchantment, Simic Ramp with Giant, Mono Black Devotion. Well, Probably the Mono Black. black. Yeah. Not the Ramp stuff. Not that excited for that. Castle Arnville is pretty good. This might be a bad idea. Castle Arnville. We play rule and opponent has borrower, we I lose. Not this up as I go. What? What are you expecting them to do? Flash in borrower with Teferi in play? The problem, so I want to bounce Teferi and then re-counter Teferi on the way back. The problem is they get to counter, or they get to kill my Teferi with their castle in the meantime. Those are two really good cards, even though I need land. So we don't really need that one.
I don't like your plan. Stop that. Now. That's more like it. I think we can just keep on doing this. Keep on hitting land drops. Like, this is just a, a cycle where we just hit land drops, right? Like that's all that's happening here. And like they lose loyalty on Teferi. Keep on using Dream Eater to, to hit land drops for us. Hey, that was uncalled for. Don't worry, I got this. It's not the land I want. Which I would have had that land this past turn. And then the untapped land next turn. Um. Uh, I'm decking out first. I've put a lot of I've put a lot of cards in my graveyard. I'm drawing a lot more cards. I mean, I guess we're at seven. I'm at seven more cards. I'll protect you. Pretty surprised they haven't played anything yet. Wanna be si wanna be surprised now for a time wipe, if not a Oh, this really is the true mirror. Oh, that is cool. Oh, 
I've done the hero thing before. Oh, uh, that's cool. Right on schedule. This might be a bad idea. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this is probably just a, a stream viewer that uh, that was like, "Hey, that that deck looks cool, and want to play it too," and is playing it as well. So I can either make a one one. Or draw two cards. I'm going to draw two cards. I've got it. Oh, uh, I got some new medicine to try out with Hawkeye. All right, we're four and two. Cool, it was a mirror match. Um, yeah, same sleeves and everything. That's really cool. <laughs> I was, yeah, even with the same sleeves, the true mirror. Um, so yeah, hopefully, you know, I'll start start that with like his dinner tonight after I get done streaming. Hopefully, he starts doing better. All right, last match. Let's try to finish with a 5-2. Ooh, food decks are kind of a problem. <laughs> it can't be a true mirror match without magic mirror. <laughs> hey, Hypnos. Rule of Law is kind of cool here, where they, you know, they can play a lot of stuff every turn. They have a lot of really cheap spells, you know, tons and tons of one mana cards. They only get to play one of them. This is one where they could just drain us out. Going with time wipe the next turn. So we'll insight this turn. Really? That's not cool. That's not cool. All right, we got a backup. Oh right, whoops! <clears throat> Could have just played planes. I was just excited to to do that. Took an extra point. Yeah, you can you can scan over the cards with your with your mouse if you're watching on PC. And so you can see the, you can see the different cards and see what they do and everything. Um, those y'all watching on YouTube, you can't do that. Girl. Hmm. We're gonna arrest the massacre girl. Did too much massacring.
Yeah, no, there there should be a different pet for for their like the Theros in game pet. Like there's been a pet for each mastery pass, and so I'm expecting that to be the case again. Dang. Oh, it's it's an owl. Just keep on bouncing stuff. You can play one of these a turn. Uh, we already got a Castle Art and Veil, so we're good. Uh, yeah, this song is by Young the Giant. This is Brothers Keeper. Do you think my opponent's getting annoyed by this yet? <laughs> I think they may have been annoyed by that. They get one spell. I just put it back in their hand. Then they get one spell. Put it back in their hand. Or put it back on top of their library. <laughs> Oh, poor opponent. Because, yeah, like, they, you know, like, they just didn't have very much stuff there at the end because they, you know, like, every draw step was just, you know, drawing their 4-4 their four -four again and so on. Um, <laughs> I would flip my table. Yeah, this, so, yeah, this is a, this is, you know, like, this is a prison deck. Um, that's what, that's what this deck is. And so we went 5-2. and two. Like, that's, that's good with best of one. Like, there's, there's definitely variants in best of one. You're not going to be going, like, 7-0 very often in best of one um oh so there's the that's the new season pet i'll have to see that um oh it's that owl thing okay gotcha okay um yeah so what changes would you make to the deck I'm not sure. I think I still. I think I like Callus Dismissal. That's something to kind of look at, though. Like Callus Dis Dismissal Warrant. If Warrant Warden starts starts playing like a better card, you could change the dismissals to be Warrants. Or the other way around. If if um, Dismissal looks really good and you know bouncing that any because it bounces any type of permanent. If that looks pretty good with getting the extra one one and you like that more than Warrant, you could change that over too. Um, so like that's something to to kind of keep your eye on. Um, sabotage versus absorb. Um, absorb is going to be better against the aggro decks, and if that's like where you think that we're going to be struggling, you could just be playing absorb. Um, I know the person that, that donated for this, they said they didn't didn't use the wild cards yet on absorb and wanted to kind of know about it. But um, a lot of times, sabotage is going to be better unless like whenever your life total is under duress. So like those those really aggressive matchups, that's where you really want absorb. That three life is a big deal, as we saw how I was stabilizing at a really low life total quite a bit. But against other decks, like getting that surveil one's pretty nice too. I think that overall, I would probably at least play just just play two and two, sabotage and absorb. Um, I mean, I think that's that's something you can kind of do, also, or maybe just even play all the absorbs. 
Pro probably just one absorb, I think, with this kind of deck. Probably just want that. Um, but it's not like a huge, huge deal. But in those tougher red black matchups, though, it can be a big deal. Yeah, our life total was very low in a lot of games, so I think I'd probably recommend just playing Absorb um, if you have the wild cards. If you don't have the wild cards for it, and you know it'd like you know cost you money to to play Absorbs, you know as you can see with the games that we played, you can get away with Sabotage too. It's not it's not like a huge deal, but um, if you have the Absorbs, I'd recommend playing them. And I, I think there's nothing wrong with kind of going a split. I don't think you have to go four a, four and four. You know, you can play, you know, like I said, like two and two or even, you know, like three and one and, and so on. You know, you can you can have like a split like that. The castles are good. I really like the castles. You may not need all the, the blue castles, but it, it's really not difficult. Like as we saw there, there wasn't a sing there was not a single game. Um, OK, Bertolux for a deck tech here. Uh, we'll do that right after this. There wasn't a single game where castles were a problem wasn't a single one like where i was like oh man this land's gonna come into play tap because it's a castle it's not too difficult um you remember we have, we have the four fable passage also so like you know you can use that to like get the planes and stuff but um castle art and veil is just really clutch like that this one's definitely definitely a really good castle you probably don't need three of these um but with rule of law like there's gonna be times like where you have extra mana anyway uh dream eater and ugin both played really well they played they played really, really well. I liked both of them. I, I was impressed by both. They they both played better than I thought they were going to. I liked them both. Um, we never played Gadwick. We never drew Gadwick. Um, so, you know, maybe, you know, so I'm not sure if, like, one, another, like, I wouldn't mind, like, another counterspell. It kind of seemed like a lot of those games, like, would have been nice to have another counterspell. But uh, I could, so I could see playing, instead of Gadwick, playing another counterspell or playing a dismissal or or a warden playing another early removal spell or a counter spell i could see doing either of those besides gadwick um we felt like i felt like we were pretty good with card draw with the insights the insights were awesome but i feel like the the insights that was that was probably enough card draw um no i don't think you'd really need de deafening silence no I, I think their rule of law is enough and the deafening silence is just kind of kind of overkill um yeah, you could. Yes, you could do that too, Foreign. That's a good. That's a good call. I didn't. I didn't really think of that. But yeah, you could instead of this like one Gadwick, especially for best of one, you could play one. Um, yeah, I mean, I like that idea. Play one Fay of Wishes in here, and then you can have a sideboard for different stuff. Where Fay of Wishes, you can still play as like a one four against um, some decks. You know, against the aggro decks, you can play it as a one four for two mana. I like that. That's a good idea. And then, because, you know, a sideboard in best of one is super valuable. And so you just get a sideboard by playing a Fae of Wishes. Dream Eater was really good, honestly. Yeah, Dream Eater was, like, surprisingly good. Um, yeah, it was It was honestly, like, helped us win a lot of those games. Okay, so there we go. So there's a lot about Azorius Law. Um yeah, yeah, the blue the blue castle you may not need as much, but I think the white castle making blockers and everything. As we saw like some of those aggro matchups we won because of the white castle. The white castle is really important. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, uh, hope you enjoyed the deck. Hope you enjoy locking out your opponents. You know, to do hit that like button over there, leave those comments. Um, yeah, you know, let me know what you think of the deck, but then also just like Theros. You know, feel free to leave those comments about what cards you're really excited about in Theros. Uh, coming up what cards you want to see in standard and what are you building around and all that kind of stuff but that's it here for azorius law so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video